Welcome back sports gamers, it's The Natural. The last NCAA football game hit shelves over six years ago. The franchise demise came after a lawsuit that accused EA, the collegiate license company, and the NCAA of illegally using the likeness of real life players in video games or the merchandising. The fallout from the case resulted in a $60 million settlement in favor of collegiate athletes and a stop to the NCAA football games. With today's news, it looks like a major change affecting collegiate athletics may bring back NCAA football and basketball sooner than we think. Let's take a look. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. The NCAA games were some of EA's most popular franchises, but despite the popularity, the series was dropped due to all the pending litigation at the time. The heart of the issue surrounded the fact that student athletes had their likeness used for the games and other items that made everyone else money but the athlete themselves, but that soon may be changing. As of this week, the State Assembly for California passed Bill SB206, the Fair Pay to Play Act, allowing college students to be compensated for endorsements. The vote was decisive, 72 to 0, in favor of the bill. Another bill aligning goals made its way through the Senate back in May, marking two landmark victories on the road to bringing back instantly football, video games, and franchises. While things look hopeful for SB206, it is not set in stone just yet. Amendments and provisions are still being discussed to reconcile the different versions, as well as include solutions to possible disputes between school endorsements and the athletes. Additionally, the bill does not make provisions for colleges to pay the athletes directly. Payments will be from sponsorships and endorsements. Pro athletes like LeBron James or the high profile backers like Bernie Sanders took to Twitter to push the bill's efforts. But it's not all good news though. Instantly President Mark Emmert has urged postponement of the bill, even suggested schools in California that follow the bill's provisions be excluded from NCAA championships. The idea is that such pay would negatively alter the fairness in championship matches as well as some recruiting practices, like players don't get paid already. The legislation still needs to pass through the deaths of Gavin Newsom, the governor of California. There is no guarantee the legislation will pass. Emirate alone makes reportedly $4 million a year, which would equate to some serious lobbying efforts on behalf of the NCAA, so I will take everything he says with a grain of salt. Don't forget the NCAA announced in May it was forming a working group that would examine name, image, and likeness of players in compensation. But again, it's like a corporation doing an investigation on their own crimes. I really don't expect anything of note to come from this, as long as the coaches, administrators, TV and media are making billions off of amateur athletes, they're going to keep this sham going as long as they can, especially while there's people that are out there somehow still defending it. Receiving an athletic scholarship with the school should not mean you sign away the rights to your name, image, and self-worth. As a country, we should be moving away from that type of ownership of a person. So should the bill pass, it would go into effect January 1st. 2023 NCAA football 2024 may be more feasible than previously estimated. It is certainly more likely now than this time last year. And don't forget, Maximum Football will feature created college teams and release on September 27th for $29.99 for Xbox One and PS4, so you have that option as well. So I think there's a lot of positive things happening around the game coming back and players being compensated. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you did like the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss more of the latest news and updates on NCAA football and basketball returning here at SGO. This is The Natural. I'm out.